Good evening one and all and welcome to What Do You Get? Uh, today I shall be reviewing the, well, giving a quick heads up on the new Firestorm Task for Force uh, starter box for the Terran Alliance versus the Din Genesee Federation. Um, so I got into Firestorm after playing lots and lots of Dystopian Wars. Uh, got into Firestorm a couple of months ago and really got on with it and then Spartans come out with this new quick play set of rules um, with some very fancy looking new models, modu modular designs, um, a new rules set um, and thought some people might to, like to take a look. Um, first things first, because I pre-ordered, I there was some scenery stuff which came with it, including a... I can't rem remember what they labelled this as, some sort of a uh, scout ship or something along those lines. Uh, pretty nice. Good casting. There's some very nice details which Spartan can do. Um, and that is shown in this. I have some other normal Firestorm models to compare. So that's a Resolute Cruiser for Hawker. And so it's about frigate size, this. This one here, um, and there's a little slot in here which the flight peg mounts on. Very nice. Okay, so let's get this out of the way so you can see stuff clearer. Pop that on there, and there you are. Okay, you also get three of these Rothosa. FSD navigation beacons, I would imagine. They look pretty Rothosa. Um, again, some nice detailing. No casting errors at all on these. No air bubbles. Spartan really knows their way around resin. And there's, on these, there doesn't even seem to be the hint of a, of a join line on the mould, which is very nice. I also come on these smaller flight stands. Um, which I don't think they've done before, maybe with some of the dystopian more small flies. Um, I'm not quite sure, but very, very nice looking. And a bit of a hark back to some old designs which Spartan were going to be doing, I believe. This is um, a space station. Um, yeah. well, that's not focusing too well, so let's bring that up. Um, Originally, I believe this was supposed to be a, a modular design back in the days, and then it seems to have been remembered in this, which would be very nice for a, a ghost station if you want to play with that objective or with that mission. So, again, very nice, but there's not really any seam line on this, which I can see really at all. Um, a little bit of flash in the middle, but aside from that, very nice. Um, and that's secured on via these little flight peg things here uh, on a three-pointed large flight stand so that's just what the stuff you get for free if you pre-ordered it so let's move on to the meat so of course this is Towns vs. New Jersey so you get two um, light cruisers for the Terrans along with a um, upgrade to torpedo cruiser that's the thing which I've done the, I mentioned the modular components so the Terrans have the uh, light cruisers and torpedo cruisers the Dinjenzi have a uh, normal cruiser and a escort carrier and I believe that theme is carried on through all the different factions so Cerulean's get a light cruiser and a gunship so do the real Thosa, those two are in a box together and the both the Aquans and the Directorate get a um, a light carry, a light cruiser rather and an escort carrier um, so without further ado let's get on to the Terrans uh, which is the faction I'll be playing, I got this in with a friend um, which it definitely seems to have served its purpose task force in getting people into um, playing with Spartan Games um, miniatures. Um, I have managed to lure two friends into getting a starter box each um, and I don't think they'd have done anything at all um, if they hadn't been around. So this is the, as I say, those are, these are modular. So what you have here is a base, which is, this is universal between both the torpedo cruiser and the normal cruiser. Um, so very nice detailing. 
Um, a little bit of this big kind of flashy area, but it's a reasonably complex cast, I'd imagine, and that looks super easy to clean up. Um, so I do not begrudge them that at all. So you have this, and these holes are for special are specially designed to fit two millimeter by one millimeter magnets, I believe. So that you could don't so it's truly modular. You don't have to glue stuff on. You can just swap swap, swap it on and off. So and then this um, shell fits on on top with a turret component and that is how you make the Terran ooh, light cruiser um, so add it all and again to give a scale comparison let's get one which is all fully assembled so here's your standard um, light cruiser and here is the Resolute so pretty, pretty chunky um, nice size Lots of nice detailing. They seem to have gone for some nice gribbling, uh, greebling rather, underneath. I'm not sure if the camera's going to focus on that properly, um, but there we are. In between the two, the top half and the lower half. That's that's pretty nice detailing. And then there is the um, torpedo cruiser upper half, which design-wise I'm not. Too keen on over the light cruiser, um, but still looks nice. A damn sight more interesting than the old Terran mediums, which are possibly the most boring spaceships I've ever seen. Um, so, there you are. So, that is the Terran light cruiser and torpedo cruiser. So, let's move on to the Dimgenzi, um, which are. There are rather a few more pieces for these, I believe. Uh, actually, no, tell a lie. There's actually less pieces. Um, so, what you get is the what is universal is you have uh, this underside. Again, nicely detailed. Even turrets down here, where well, you're probably not going to see them too much. Um, and that slots onto the this engine component here. Like thus and are the magnetization holes. So what slots on top of here is either the normal cruiser, which uh, by the way the statistics for, um, because these are universal uh, between Fast on Task Force and uh, Fast on Armada, that at least the models are, the rules for this on uh, for Fast on Armada have caused quite a little a little bit of kerfuffle when they went up for beta testing, um, as opposed to the normal Dindrenzi cruiser, but uh, I suppose time shall tell. Um, so that's the normal cruiser layout, and then you simply pop that off if it's magnetised, and this is the carrier component, um, again even on the underside, very nicely detailed, never going to see that, but they still bothered, uh, nice broad sides up along the side there. You pop that on, and away you go with an escort cruiser, escort carrier rather. So, um, and these are quite substantial in size. So there you are. Comparison with the Resolute again. So, those are the. That's a Dindrenzi light. Uh, no, not light cruiser. Normal cruiser, and uh, escort carrier. And you. So you get two mediums, and then. They were originally going to come with five smalls, but Spartan decided to ship them with six instead. So, that one thing which I was going to mention, some of the Dindrenzi stuff comes with some uh, poor stubs like these, but again, those are very, very simple to break off, um, like thus. Maybe need a little bit of firing, maybe some sandpaper to get rid of that, but very easy fix. And even on these smalls, no no casting errors of any sort that I can find, so that is very nice. So yeah, that is the uh, Dindrenzi Light Frigate, which is, can't remember what it's called, um, and these are the Terran Light Frigates. Not much to say about these, aside from the nice design, nice detailing, all one piece, um, and these two fit on the smaller size Base, which um, a lot of people are hoping will transfer across to ta um, from Task Force to Fast Arm, um, just to ease congestion on the table. I, I've gotten into quite a few furballs playing for Fast Arm Armada, um, and they get kind of messy. So, you so what you get is uh, two mediums for both the Terrans 
And for the uh, Dinjanzi, this isn't going to work, picking up the Dinjanzi one, seeing as it's in pieces. And, not, so, um, and you get six of these, and six of these. Which uh, for, well, I think on Spartan, Re Spartan Store, that's about £40. Pounds, um, and I think if you look at most retailers, weigh-in games, I think has them for as little as £32. Pounds. Um, Troll Trader, Farstorm games that type of people, most of the time I think you're going to be seeing this for about £36, which is very reasonable uh, to get you into the game, especially seeing as it comes with the, is this going to fit on camera? Uh, probably not. The Farstorm Task Force Quick Player Rulebook. Um, this is designed as a, as a, sorry, as a simple introduction rulebook. Um, pretty clearly laid out. Um, I had a quick flick through it and it's all simple, makes sense, but there's a couple of Spartans, um, we're going to say one thing, hidden away, and then hark back to it and then make it hard for you to find things. Namely, the uh, it still well, it takes a reasonable amount from Farstorm Planetfall uh, to simplify the rules, um, and that includes uh, damage markers. Um, so if you take hull points, then you deduct the um, number of damage which you've taken from your successes rather than from your initial attack dice, um, which is, uh, as I say, used in, uh, used in Planetfall, um, as opposed to Fast or Marmada. There's some simplification. Boardings have been a lot more simplified, and you can board as many times as you like. Um, and just damage is a lot simplified. There's no uh, critical hit tables. It's just damage or lots of damage. Um, so, yeah, and it's uh, well, it's not not too fancy a rulebook, but you don't need it to be for a quick play rulebook. Um, and it also comes with two turning templates, which is also quite nicely simplified. Um, you can only turn uh, if you're small. You can only turn two times during your movement, and if you're large uh, or medium, rather, you can only turn um, once. Uh, during your activation, which will simplify things a lot. And there are also these cards, which I shall bring out from their bag. So, considerately, even if you d didn't manage to pre-order, there's some, there's some pop-out-and-play asteroids, um, so you have some basic scenery. Um, apparently the basic task force um, starter kits you can play on a I recommend a 3 foot by 3 foot board but I, in the rule book it seems to imply that even a 2 foot by 2 foot board um, will do, so you're talking a Bushido size map which is, which is very nice So and um, it aids with the whole quick play intent. You get a sheet of large colourful pop out markers which like a, make a lot more sense than the uh, Fast or Marmada ones, these are evidently clear what this is. Um, maybe not enough of them, um, but I haven't played, so I'm not sure. And a uh, stack card for the factions, which you get. And that is it. That is what you get, and I have to say I'm very pleased. Um, this looks as though it's going to be a good way to get um, friends into playing Firestorm, and that I am happy with. Very nice, highly detailed models, easily modified, um, so. And with that contentment, I shall leave you.